Welcome back. We're going to take a look at something fairly new in Canva that I think you, you will really like. Take a look with me. So I'm going to share screen and here we go. There we go. So now we're in Canva and what is fairly new, you may not have played with this or tested this out, is the content planner. Now, I don't know about you, but right now I have use different scheduling platforms to help so that I'm not always in real time posting all of my different posts in um, on social media platforms and it's been a bit of a progression I have liked the platforms there are some pros and cons to each of the platforms but I've spent some money on them and one platform I'm using right now is kind of expensive it has some advantages but it's just possible that Canva, if you're paying for Canva Pro anyways, that this can take the place of something else that you might also be paying for for account. So this is a content planner. Um, we can also connect with a variety of different uh, platforms. I've been testing it out here and I'm going to show you around and also be checking out a couple things right with you uh, through this video to take a look of what else we can learn. So I'm going to just, you know, by going here to content planner and um, we've got looking at this current month, I'm going to pick something, maybe let's look for June 1st. And I can, what will come up are some of my recent creations that for videos and different things. Um, let's take a look here. I can also go to my library and see what other things are here. Um, let's take a look here. And then I can pick that and what I can do is not pick all three pages, but I am going to test that out yet. So I'm going to pick page one. And so currently it looks like I can only schedule to one platform at a time, but let's test out the other ones here that are coming up are all ready, ready to go. So let's pick that schedule post. And it's that simple. So let's test out something else to my designs. Maybe I want to create something for Instagram and I'm going to, now I can pick templates um, that work with my brand style. Let's see here. And I going back to the home page content planner. Let's go right here and then pick the recent video. This time I'm going to choose all three pages. Uh, destination, Instagram. Now I might be able to go back in and edit it, but let's schedule post and see what happens. It's with a video. It looks so far when I've been testing this out, it looks like I can use one design for one post. And, but this also might be some, a tool that continues to evolve. So if I double click on there and then I'm going like this, that video work. You can edit design. See, you just have to look for three dots and you will find more. So I could make a copy, which is fantastic. I can resize depending for another um, platform, but let's edit and just take a look. So it Editing this design will pause the scheduled post. You'll need to schedule it again to update the post. 
want to use this design for a new post, make a copy. Edit. Saved. Let's try again. So now it's showing post paused. Well, that I could animate. Um, as well. And then I can go right from the design also and click schedule all three. It's picked up the whole thing, which is fantastic. Done. Saving schedule. Preparing the design. Okay, and then I can make a copy. So I could, let's do that. Let's pick that one, make a copy. Okay. And then schedule. And let's pick, there we go. Next. Okay, I have to copy that. Hmm. So if I want to just copy and paste that, schedule there. You can look at the next month, got that scheduled there. And maybe you want to pick a different platform. Save draft. Let's see what that looks like. Draft, I can edit it, save and schedule. So let's take a look. And the nice thing here too is when you only have one post on a day, you can then visually see what it looks like. Go into there. Scheduled. Actually, can I just grab this and move it to the other day? I can. That's nice. Because uh, on Tuesdays, most times, it's our weekly blog and vlog. So that's fantastic. Let's go make a copy. So if I'm going to make a copy, I'm just going to, just in case. Okay, let's make a copy and resize for animated social media. And group, I can change the curve. I can straighten that out. Add an element on YouTube. Do that. That's cool. This is fantastic. Okay, so now, look, they've got so many things there. That's awesome. Okay, so can you see if that's center? And went to the content planner. Okay. that and pick 
Instagram, pick not all of them, just the one. Done. is fantastic. Now what I'm not seeing is being able to repeat posts, but it's really fantastic to not have to download and upload to another platform and just and see right here or ch change things or move things around um, or edit right then and there. It's really fantastic option. So thanks for checking this out. I invite you to check out the link below. There is a Canva affiliate link that gives you 45 days free with Canva Pro. Gives you an opportunity to look around, play and test this out to see if this would save you money from other platforms and provide ease of use, save you time. It's really fantastic. So you can schedule right into the scheduler with your Canva creation. So remember, you can schedule to Instagram business to any other two social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. So just a little recap here of all the new features with Canva's scheduler. You can schedule up to seven different platforms from Canva, including Instagram, which is brand new. And you can plan, design, and publish your social media content directly from within Canva Pro. This saves you time and avoids dealing with multiple platforms. No need to download and re-upload your design into social media channels. Go back to the scheduled post to edit them on the fly and all edits seamlessly synced and updated to the content planner. This is fantastic. Check out the link below. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, behind the scenes look, video walkthrough, um, and a bit of a review for, there are a couple things that I would love to see Canva add later, being able to just click repeat. Um, that would be fantastic. Possibly also edit the thumbnail if it is a video, uh, because we can upload our own original video clips into Canva. We can do so much into Can in Canva that then can transfer into all the other platforms that you share information and resources. You can create bite-sized tutorials or tips, um, even did you know, FYI, like you can create so many different things, not just promoting your business or your services, but to provide value added information as well. So I hope this was a value for you and that, that you had some light bulb learning moments throughout. My name is Patricia Regeer and until next time, I hope that you're able to facilitate engaging learning experiences online. Thanks again.